Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Crafty D Sculpting. My name's Danny and in this week's video we're coming back to the unclean one. This is part two. So if you haven't seen part one, I will link up the um, the video up here in one of these corners. If not, it'll be down in the description. But yeah, if you haven't watched it already, this is what we made in the last video. Big old boy, used over five pound of clay on this one. Very heavy, a lot of detail in this one. Yeah, very pleased with the way this one turned out. So go over and have a watch now. But let's get on with the paint job on this one. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the paint job. See you in a sec. And we're back and we're starting this one where we left off in the last video. We're starting with the base. So here we go. Let's get on with it. Right. And we are going to be starting off with, guess what, more tinfoil. Yep, we're going to get balls of tinfoil and we're going to glue them all the way around the edge. Starting off with this one. Just get them in place, however, it doesn't really matter how they look. Just get them in place, they're just rocks. So yep, as you can see, we're getting lots more tinfoil. We've gone through a hell of a lot of tinfoil on this one. Stuck them all down, as you can see. Looking good. Now we're going to get our liquid clay and we're just going to put a quick dollop of it all the way over and get it all brushed in which is just going to help the uh, clay that we're going to put over the top in a moment stick when we put it in the oven. Right now we've got that done we can lay over our clay make sure we've got enough of it and we just put it through the pasta machine laying it all in place and just like that it's done. Right now another ball of uh, tin foil going to scrunch up into a nice tight ball and we're just going to roll it all the way around just to get them rock like textures that we desire so as you can see we're getting it all pushed into the corners we're using a smaller bowl of tin foil just to get into all them little areas before it goes in the oven and as you can see now that's been done we're going to get some glue out and we're going to get some smaller rocks and textures and we're just going to stick them all the way around just in various little areas just to just bring out that texture just that little bit more there we go just little areas doesn't matter where just haphazardly get them all in there Add a few more in over here. And now we've got to leave that all to dry before we can get onto the paint. Now we've made some black, white and a little bit of brown. Get all that smooshed in together until we get a colour a bit like this. Now we're going to put a base coat down of this first of all. Just as much as you need on the brush, just get it all smooshed in there. once we've got this done we can start working on the dry brushing now we're just going to build up the layers of grey starting with a dark grey and working up to a light grey until we end up with a white now as you can see we're working off as much paint as we can off of the paintbrush and then we're just going to gently just go over hitting all them upper areas to bring up them highlights now all this can be toned down if you go over a little bit too light just using a bit of a black wash but there we go as you can see that one's finished and we can move on from this and we can start finally painting the big boy now we're going to start off giving him a black wash first of all black wash black undercoat should i say so we're going to get a nice thick coat of black paint on him get it all over takes quite a bit of time as you can imagine as he's such a big boy there we go starting to get him done there's the front of him now with the power of editing the back's done as well oh, Luna's asleep on the sofa snoring away as usual right, bought myself this little airbrush first time I've used an airbrush and I just wanted to get a cheap little one off of Amazon just to see what they're like this one cost me under £30 but yeah, I'm not expecting great things out of this but it's just going to help me just get any undercoating done that I need any xenophil sprays that we're going to be doing in a moment but yeah I thought we'd give it a try but yeah as I said a minute ago we're going to do a xenophil spray on this one and just highlight from the top downwards in white before moving on to a dark green now we are going to start with a dark green and we are going to bring the colours up 
in lightness. But yeah, as I say, we start off with this dark green first of all. Now we're moving on to a more lighter green, which I'm going to do all the highlighted areas the, the light would be hitting, so leaving the unexposed under areas still quite dark. And as you can see, the change is coming on. Get all that on there haphazardly. Don't have to be too perfect with this. As I say, he's the great unclean one, so he's not immaculate. Now, with all the boils that are under the skin, I've used a much lighter colour now, and I'm bringing, I can't remember what it was, Plague, Plague Bear of Flesh or something like that, I can't remember now. But yeah, we're using this and just uh, dry brushing over the top, bringing up them highlights even more. I know some of you 40k painters are probably shaking your head in shame at seeing me do this but I'm giving it my best try and I'm not a professional painter by any shot of the mains. As you can see I'm highlighting all the upper areas, anywhere where the light be hitting I'm just trying to bring up before getting on to all the welts and we're just going to be doing these in a demonic yellow. Now we do tone these down a little bit later on, but for now we're going to be moving on to this alien purple, which we're going to be base coating all of the wounds and open areas. Takes a couple of coats to do this, as you can see it's a little bit watery. I think I might have had a bit too much water on my brush to start off with. I didn't know how it was going to react, but yeah, as you can see, we get a couple of coats of this on. All over the open wounds. More over here, more over there, there we go. Once that's dry, we're going to go over with some of this contrast paint. A nice red colour. And we're just going to go all the way over all of the open areas. Doesn't matter, at the moment we're going on quite thick, just want to get it all in there, but we do remove quite a lot of this paint in a moment. As you can see, We've got a bit of tissue now and we're just going to soak up all of the paint and just thin it down quite a lot. I'm going to do that to all the wounds. Come along nicely. Loads of wounds to get done in this. Probably missed a couple along the way and had to come back to it as usual. But now we're going to go over the same contrast paint and just go over the tongue. And again we'll remove quite a lot of this paint in a moment just to bring back them highlights underneath. There we go. Right now more contrast paints and now we're going to go over all the welts and yellow areas that we done earlier. Just brings in down, tones them down a little bit. Before going over with Warlock Purple, which we're now going to dry brush over all the open wounds. Just up, just bringing up the highlights. And we're just literally going to tickle the raised areas, as you can see right there. And as I say, it's just bringing up them highlights nicely. And we're going to do that to all the other open wounds as well. Just breaks everything up a little bit. Right, now moving on to his horns. We've used a skeleton white, I believe it was. And we're going to go over all the horns with that, and we are going to bring that back down again in a moment. So once we've got all them done, we're going to get the teeth done as well, and his spine. Right, now we've got that done, we're going to wait for that to dry and we're going to move on to the blade. Now I've used various different metallics and mixed them together just to really tone down the uh, colours a bit. Right, so now that's done, we're going to come back to the horns and we're using another contrast paint and we're just going to go over everything and we are going to dab off the majority of the paint afterwards. As you can see, we've got our trusty little sponge and we're just going to dab off all the thicker areas. And again, we haven't quite finished there with the horns. 
Right, now back to the blade again. We're going to use this dry rust colour and we're just going to haphazardly go over it, just get it on there and again we are going to remove quite a lot of this paint in a moment. And as you can see we're sponging off the majority of it. Once we've done that we'll just let it dry for a little bit and then we're going to go over a bit of black wash just to blend everything in. Brings it all together. Don't forget guys, leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think of this one. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see me do in the future. Give me some ideas as I'm running out of them. I'll know what I'm going to do over the Halloween period, so like and subscribe for that one because I've got something pretty good lined up I think. Right, now we're going to move on for a bit of gloss varnish. Now we're going to go over all the open wounds just to give it that icky sort of look that an open wound would actually have, nice and shiny. Again, going over all the open areas. And when we let that dry, it will really give a nice shine to it. Right, now we're going to go over the eyes with a little bit of UV resin. Now I've done the eyes as a demonic white sort of look. Now we're going to go over the UV torch, brings it all together. Now back onto the base, we've got these little 40k Space Marines. And we're just going to figure out where they look pretty good around the uh, base and get them stuck into place. Now I've drilled little holes just for the little noggins on the bottom of the feet that are usually go into the little bases. And they're just going to go into place like that with a little bit of glue. Now we're almost finished with this one guys, so I really do hope you enjoyed this one. As I say, this is one of my favourite ones to date, and I really like the way this one turned out. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again shortly in the next one. Until then, bye for now. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy yeah. all this stuff it sucks when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with regret in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I feel that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares